Hi, my name is Kyle Dalbonis, and I'll be your shirtless chef this morning. Today we're going to make what is popularly known as Bulletproof Coffee, but with my little spin on it. This has been made popular by David Asprey of BulletproofExecutive.com, and the main ingredients are coffee, butter, and oil, but I put my own little spin on it. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Let's get started. First, you start with coffee, but not just any coffee. It needs to be single origin. Otherwise, you introduce the possibility of ingesting a host of things called mycotoxins. That's why I'm pretty much strict upon the coffee being local if possible, but if it's direct trade slash single origin, it should be good enough. I like to use Groundworks because it's a local reseller of really awesome coffee, and today we're using the Brazil Roast. So, you start with a single serving, if you make it just for yourself, like I do every morning, about four tablespoons. You need a grinder if you're doing whole beans, which I also recommend because if it's already ground, you're not getting the freshness. So you get your ground coffee, Brazil roast. I like big beans, cannot lie. Put it into your pour over. Also, this guy, pour over, very effective at what it does, not expensive, 20 bucks. $40, you have an investment in your coffee future. Take a weekend off, get these things, please, because they're so worth it. All right, so now you get your coffee blended, and in your pour over, now you just gotta boil some water and start the brewing process. Let's give it a moment, you know, it takes a little while for the water to boil. I don't like to waste any time, so as my water gets hot, I like to get hot. Gotta stay warm, gotta stay toned, keep the body limber, because in the morning, a common misconception is that you should work out in the morning, but you know what? That is dead fucking wrong. Your body is cold. Your body needs to warm up. And the older you get, the more attention you need to give to these needs. Stretch in the morning. Go for a walk. Stretch while you make this fucking coffee. Now, depending on how long your water takes to boil, you can start preparing other ingredients. Butter. So, one of the core ingredients of Bulletproof Coffee, and even my customized version of it is butter. The idea here is that fat and oil is what our bodies want to run on and our bodies run most effectively on that. If you have a very low carbohydrate diet you need to subsist upon oils and fat for energy and with this recipe we have about two to three tablespoons of grass-fed unsalted Kerrygold butter. It's about the best butter you can get in this country at a reasonable price. It's very available. Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Although Trader Joe's often runs out of the, uh, the unsalted version, so if you guys are listening, like, get on top of that shit, I'm tired of that, I don't like salt in my butter. Otherwise, you can use some, like, fancy European butter from goat milk and stuff like that, but it's just it's way too overpriced. MCT oil. This is the one ingredient I get a lot of questions about, like, what the hell is MCT oil? And that's rightly so, because you don't see this shit around readily. You don't find it in stores. You have to get it online. What makes coconut oil so awesome? And I know if you have your ear to the ground as far as health and fitness goes, you've heard about coconut oil. If you haven't, you have the goddamn rock and figure it out. But coconut oil is awesome because of this. MCT oil, which is short for medium chain triglyceride, MCT. Makes sense, right? Okay. These things get converted to ketones very quickly. What are ketones? They're basically what your brain wants to do very well and like be awesome and active. And it's why you're gonna feel awesome after having this coffee. Again, not gonna go into detail here, but you can get this on Amazon for about 20 bucks and you get about 63 servings. I use two or three tablespoons per cup. Well worth it. This is like liquid food. Mind your form if you have a wide counter like this one. I'm up on my toes. And I mean, I spend a lot of time, you know, in this position because I'm a martial artist. I have very strong calves. I don't need to worry about too much. But if you're bending around, just make sure you've got those stretches, you know, you got to take care of yourself. So I think the uh, water's done boiling, so in the essence of not wasting time, which is something that I don't like to do either, I'm gonna stop brewing this coffee. Pour it slowly, if you care about how it tastes, because the coffee needs to breathe and be evenly soaked in this hot water in order to extract all of the oils and antioxidants that are in it which you don't get with shitty coffee. So if you bought shitty coffee, just pour it in as fast as you want because it doesn't, give, it doesn't fucking matter, you know? You just ruin it for yourself. I like my coffee to be dark and flavorful. So I always let it sit as long as I need to until my 
blender is ready with the rest of the ingredients. So, like I said, the base ingredients are amazing single origin direct trade coffee that's not full of toxins, unsalted grass-fed Kerrygold butter, and the MCT oil. What I've done to modify this recipe increases the antioxidant and uh, nutrient profile in general because as it is, it's simply lots of oils and fats and caffeine and all, of course all the like, nutrient profile of coffee that's just generally good for you. But that kind of just tastes like you're drinking a stick of butter and as used to I am about like eating fats all the time, it's just it's not palatable and it's, it's not how I start my morning every day. So I kind of spiced up with some cinnamon. You can be very liberal here because cinnamon's awesome for you. I'm gonna explain to you why in a second. Ginger. Whatever, they'll clean that later. Vanilla. Probably way more than I need, but I don't give a shit. And some chocolate. The idea behind this is I wanna make a maximum viable food. Like, I wanna include as many ingredients that can work in harmony that make it more healthy. So all these ingredients taste great in the coffee, but in general, the idea really is to make it more healthy. So cinnamon, for example, this is a very popular and well-known anti-inflammatory for one. It also is a thermogenic booster, which means it boosts your metabolism and helps you burn more calories. Vanilla is amazing because it increases cognitive ability first and foremost, also has a great flavor and is anti-inflammatory. If you notice the trend so far is that we have a lot of anti-inflammatories, which is important because the general diet that most Americans consume is high in inflammatory foods and ingredients. Right. If you have a diet high in anti-inflammatory foods and nutrients like ginger and cinnamon and vanilla, you can reduce your risk of contracting disgusting vile things like diabetes. Usually I kind of keep these things to myself, but I just want people to feel and be better and as awesome and look as great as me. And it's just, why not? We can all do it. We can all have this. Ladies too. Not just the guys. Okay, so coffee's still brewing. I want to mix up a little more. It's probably about time. Oh, I missed one more thing. And it's only because I recently added this to my recipe. Eggs. Whoa, hold on a second. Put eggs in coffee. You're a crazy man. Right. It's because it's not really coffee anymore. This isn't a elixir. This is a fucking superfood. I'm looking for a maximum viable food every time I eat. So adding eggs not only makes it richer and fuller and feel more like a meal when it hits your lips and goes down your esophagus into your belly and then spreads throughout your fucking brains with all that ketones, it actually adds more protein to the whole mix of things. So it's a more full meal. Um, I like to add about three to mine because I'm pretty active and you know, relatively big boy. But you can start with one or two, see how you feel. If you're not used to eating eggs raw like this, it might take a little getting used to. But again, if you eat shitty eggs, that's understandable. I need some fucking water. Is this still rolling? Ariel, say, say hi to the fun people out there and YouTube world and tell them how awesome my coffee is. Just just in general, just give it a, and don't mention things that you don't like, but just tell them how awesome it is. It's amazing, it like wakes you up and you feel like incredible and you need it in order to actually function. I mean, it definitely helps me and like you can actually go until two in the afternoon without eating another, another thing because it just keeps you fueled and the mental acuity and focus hold on i'm gonna hang up on you real quick i'll call you back in a moment the the kind of energy it gives you you can apply to all facets in life now for me it's in the morning i take it so i go to work and i focus on work but and you can tell from all these ingredients i put in here a lot of aphrodisiac properties i mean if you put brazil nuts in this thing forget about it you'd have like a heart on all day but if you want to use this for other things. I mean, it's just, you can focus it. Where are you going with that camera? What are you pointing down at? There's nothing going on down here. It's fine, that's why I hung up on her. This is kind of embarrassing, but my pour over is not in the best shape. I kind of lost that bottom piece that sits on top of stuff, so it pours out. So I need to, you know, use a little spoon, whatever. It's all right, I get by.
That's everything right there. I mean, that's beautiful as it is. If you look at that and you don't feel tantalized by it, but this is this is where the magic happens right now. You throw this color on here and you blend it, and then you more or less just kind of share with the world. Come do with you. Now look at this. Look at look at this. Are you, do you see this? Get a, get a look at that. It looks like a frap, except there's no ice cream in it. There's nothing shitty in this at all. This is entirely amazing food. Why are you not making this yet? I hope you already started and taking notes and stuff because like, you're missing out. Mm. I need a cup. Oh yeah, just pour it nice and slow. Take your time because there's a rich head in this and you don't want it to overflow. You don't want to waste a drop of this because that would be terrible and I would hate you. For me. And one for you. I'll tell you about a saucer. Accidents happen. Oh, yeah, that's good coffee. Well, my name is Caldo Bonus, your shirtless chef for the morning, presenting you my bulletproof coffee, Kyle's bulletproof coffee. And that's it, that's my breakfast.